I often wondered why the uh, people in this area call me the First Lady of Roxbury. They seem to think that I have been here a long time and I have constantly been trying to improve this area in which I live because I, I love this area. And I think they feel that I stayed here, so I must be a first lady. Well, I had a mother-in-law that was really a community-spirited person, Ms. Rosa Brown. And she talked about these things incessantly and worked in them incessantly. And I got, the got I think I caught a lot of it from her, from being around her a great deal. Oh, I never left my children to go any place. If I went any place, like to a meeting at night, my husband was the babysitter. It was understood. And I always had... Uh, my own children first. In fact, that's how I began taking them along with me when I could. And then as I grew older, and uh, began to see the problems that faced our own black people, uh, I realized it was a good many things that I should be doing to help. So I joined organizations which were working in the community and which were working for civil rights and which were working for women to vote and all kinds of other kinds of projects that made me a part of community activity. Almost unconsciously, you became involved in them because they were right there. I've been on delegations to go to see people in large corporations to ask them to hire just one black person and they turn you away and they're going to consider it and they'll see what they're going to do about it. That's of course some years back and it was very disheartening to think that especially in stores such as Dudley Street and little stores where black people are in majority of shopping couldn't even hire a clerk. Five and ten, Woolworth was one of them that we had to pressure just to get one, two little clerks up on Washington Street. And so uh, those things were very discouraging in a way, but they didn't stop us. And sometimes it made you have more determination to go right back and bang at it. The organization of uh, activities of 30 or 40 years ago, compared to what they are today, there's a great difference because people had a different way of doing things. 30 or 40 years ago, black people really were slower about achieving their aims, but they kept at it, just kept going steadily at it. You never give up hope, never. Never give up hope, because just when you think you're gonna give up, that's when you could really gain the victory if you just kept right on going just a little bit more. To be remembered in my life is that I have tried to share myself with others that I have given the best years of my life to help others and that I really feel that it has been effective because I've lived to see some of the things that I've wanted to see come true. <laughs>